Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. It was an active weather day for us, and we were not alone. Really, from Ohio into West Virginia, from Northern Virginia, then south into the Carolinas, we had numerous reports of hail, heavy rain, and damaging wind. Across our neck of the woods, you'll notice that uh, most of the storm reports were in areas along and south of Highway 460. Uh, we've uh, had uh, numerous reports of uh, some wind damage out across parts of Henry County, also into parts of Campbell County. Uh, we even had, uh, again, uh, just two, three, four inches of rain in some of these rainfall rates from earlier today per hour. And the, the rain has just been so heavy in a lot of these cells that we've been seeing here over the last three to four days. Why? Because there's so much moisture readily accessible in our atmosphere. You'll notice right now that we do have a little bit of rain still around, mainly in areas north of Highway 460. Showed you these earlier. We're going to show you them again. It looks like areas in and around Covington, south into Newcastle, uh, areas say out to the uh, east along Interstate 64 in Rockbridge County, areas to the uh, west of Lexington still dealing with some rain. All this moving south at 30 miles per hour future tracker showing that as we head say two, three, four o'clock in the morning, any showers that are around right now will go away. Fog may develop overnight tonight. Then on Saturday, it looks like we'll start out the day dry with some sun. But as we head beyond one, two o'clock Saturday afternoon, we'll have the chance for a few showers, maybe even a stray storm. A lot of that activity is gone by eight, nine o'clock in the evening. Then Sunday, we'll start out dry with some sunshine. And as we head into Sunday afternoon, we'll have perhaps a better shot for some scattered showers, even a few thunderstorms. So Sunday right now looks to be a little bit wetter than Saturday. Air temperature stand 58 in Hot Springs, 59 in Withville, 66 Roanoke, 64 in Danville. Temperatures right now fairly comfortable. Why? Because we had a lot of rain cool there move in earlier today. Most everybody saw at least a little bit of rain. Some of us saw a lot of rain. The numbers are in the top five hottest Mays ever on record in Roanoke 2019 is number two. The average temperature is at 72 degrees. Believe it or not, number one on the list just happened last year, 2018, when the average temperature was 72 and a half degrees. Most 90 degree days in the month of May ever in Roanoke. Well, 1941 still has the record, nine of them. However, in 2019, we had eight 90 degree days in Roanoke. That ties us for second place all time with 1936, 1934, and 1914. And yes, meteorologically speaking, tomorrow is a first day of summer. Yeah, meteorologists kind of work out a different calendar. Uh, the average high on June the 1st is 80. The average high on June the 30th is up to 86. Those lows go from 58 June 1st up to 65 by June the 30th, and we gain around eight minutes of daylight. Now, as I told you, again, looks like uh, tomorrow is the first day of summer for meteorologists, and the average high on June the 1st is 80, but look at July 1st, 87. The average high on August 1st, 87. The average high on September 1st falls to 83. So we are now entering the hottest period of the season. And speaking of seasons, hurricane season begins for us tomorrow. It goes from June 1st to November the 30th. And according to a lot of the pundits out there, we're looking at a near average hurricane season. All right, your extended forecast showing temperatures up to 85 on Sunday. Then we're pleasant. We're less humid. We are seeing more sunshine on Monday and Tuesday of next week. We're looking at highs in the mid to upper 70s, likely going to be on the breezy, arguably windy side on Monday with less wind Tuesday. And then we're having more heat, more humidity, more thunder shower chances coming into play Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Out of those three days right now, Wednesday could potentially be the wettest.